Well, here's the little generator that we were talking about on that video. It's the same exact one. It's like a 1984 model. That's a real good little generator according to that videotape. We're going to see just how good my work is here because I took this carburetor off and replaced it. Well, I, I, I did what the video said to do. I removed the carburetor, removed all the stuff on the sides and the paraphernalia. And took the carburetor off. I'm cranking it back down after I've cleaned it. There was a lot of shellac and there was a couple of plugged up jets, so I got a little pin, cleaned them out. Tighten this back up onto the manifold. Put all my little bars back on here. And I wore a pair of gloves because I'm getting tired of smelling like gasoline. Got my choke set. I have my, uh, my gap is correct, I think, between here, which is three millimeters. It actually looks a little bit more than three millimeters. But um, I'm good. I'm good. As long as it starts up, well, we can adjust that later on. So let's see what happens here. It has not been running. It doesn't. It hasn't been working at all. So we'll uh, go ahead and turn it on. And then I don't know if I can hold this or pull it at the same time. I don't know. We'll see. Question of the uh, it was just a question of the plug jet and all of the shellac that was stuck in the little uh, bowl. And uh, by gosh, it's, it's doing real good. Let's see if it's pumping out any amp. Here's a little green light. Yeah, it's doing it. Here's our indicator right here. Now we'll have to see if we can get anything to work. We can get something to plug in there and see if it'll work. <laughs> 